Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. I have I hope that most of you guys are enjoying some trades, and uh, there are a couple of uh, things that went against what we thought, uh, what we indicated earlier. But we, uh, we are going to bring that into action. See what the prices are. So in today's video, I'm going to update the analysis that was done on the weekly analysis. Especially, we're going to look at the forex market pairs. So before first we can actually go and discuss forex market players and then we'll see how other things are going one by one we'll try to check them one by one uh, crude oil we, I'm gonna omit crude oil or we can actually look at crude oil and see if we can figure out what's happening in there so let's start with the with the analysis section forex first and first of all euro uh, the, go the good thing has happened is that we have seen a pullback which is good thing if you were net trading earlier and it's not a <laughs> so much good thing if you had a trade running on uh, I'm still considering that we are expected to move in the upward direction the only thing is that we have now a better uh, pattern that we have which is uh, give me a moment and our time frame right over here so this is the pattern right now we have the pattern did not complete right over here we can clearly see that it went on and clear right now so we can now c clearly see that we B ended over here and we have a bottom in place right over here I myself have couple of trades running one in euro uh, I mean small trades three or four small trades running in euro which were taken at the back when the prices were coming we have seen the first sign of reflection of the back and I've got a couple of trades in British pound as well so I'm still expecting that the um, Euro is going to be bullish the only thing is that it did not continue this behavior that you're expecting in uh, but it has pulled back but still if the stop loss was behind the um, this support area you can see that we have seen a, uh, a good price movement today so I'm expecting that from today on we are gonna see three four days of pricing strong prices going upward and this is the update for the analysis that you're looking for that I'm what I'm expecting in terms of uh, in, in terms of uh, what's happening on Euro so we can now we can change the trend line as well because the trend line needs to be changed we have a more complete pattern here so we can bring the trend line right over here so that's our new trend line for this uh, for Euro let's have a look at British pound British pound is doing a similar stuff as well as you guys can probably see that we have we can see that the structure actually completed right over here instead of being over here so we can move this uh, wave B right from over here to at this place and we can also move the trend line from over here to over here and our target area I think is a little upward I told you guys that you were expecting target to be in this area and we need to adjust for the target I'm expecting target to be in this area alright and even a bit higher as well for British pound the target is expected to be just create a maybe create a new high beyond that one just a little push beyond that one somewhere in this region I forgot the exact point but I remember the it was just above that area so this is our target area for British pound I'm expecting that we shall be seeing strength in British pound in next three four days are very important this will be pretty pretty interesting to see uh, let's have a look at Canadian dollar I haven't looked at Canadian dollar and as you guys can see that we already had seen a pullback let me go back and set it on auto uh, looking at the structure right over here okay and this is also providing a correctional structure we have first lag a correctional structure and we are expecting for the prices to come down so that's working good uh, we need to understand I just wanted to give you guys uh, uh, indication that I'm not expecting that we have completed this wave right over here too we are going to go and see our target area in this terrain and we can definitely create a trend line for the for Canadian dollar and I, this one is much better trend line right now so I'm bearish on the chart considering that Canadian dollar is going to get stronger this pattern correctional pattern is more clear on the US dollar itself you can clearly see the pattern right over here so I'm expecting that US dollar is going to come down right over here and create a bottom somewhere around 103.5 area so this uh, this support area is very important for US dollar we can clearly see that we have kind of a B and C we are uh, already looking for a pattern downward in case we consider W X and Y 
we can still looking for price movement downward okay a lot of people probably are not gonna like the content but just consider this as an ABC correction another price movement downward okay because we have a clear correction pattern giving us an indication we are bearish on US dollar for next three four days at least we can draw a new trend line uh, for US dollar which is right over here okay let's have a look and see what's happening on the rest of the indices uh, gold and silver miners yeah why not let's have a quick look at miners okay all right pretty awesome nothing has changed with that regard this working good okay all right now I understand what's what happening okay 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 okay, okay. got it So we can clearly see that we have seen first lag A, B, and C. We have to expect prices go up in this region right now, for temporarily. For this is within precious metals, and then as soon as gold is going to create a top, we are expecting to see a huge drop in within precious metals. Metalla, we can. I'm pretty sure it's going to make a similar price of. Only the difference is what structure we are seeing. So we right now we can see the structure is right kind of a flat correction. And we're expecting a W here, a X here, and another Y right over here. Okay, so this is a clearly a uh, structural pattern, correctional structure pattern within the uh, the upper correction right over here. So we can expect for the price somewhere in this range, maybe in this range, yeah, and then a huge price movement downward. New mind is similar. Let's have a quick quick look at gold and silver, and then we'll move forward from over here because miners are behaving same. Nothing has changed right from over here. <coughs> let's have a look at silver some of you guys uh, this is actually gold not silver all right now I think we can uh, see the pullback that you were talking about that there was a chance of the pullback the pullback I think has happened somehow uh, we cannot exactly see the pattern let me have a look at a 15 minute chart to see if you can identify the pattern Okay, what do you guys see? Let me have a look. I'm still considering this as a way one, two, three, four, and five. And if that is five, in this case, we have an A, we have a B, and we have C. Within C, we have a one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, it makes sense right now. I think it 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 makes sense right now. Okay, yeah, I think structure is very close to completion right now. So I'm considering this whole price movement once again as an A. A B and a C, in which way B has gone way beyond the uh, the start of wave A, and C is kind of creating a double bottom with the lower end uh, of A. It is not all the way upright over here, but it's still good enough. And I think we shall actually see a continuous behavior from upward. We have completed a five wave structure uh, at a year. We have seen a correction, and we are moving upward. And I told you guys that uh, I'm expecting that within three four days. Uh, we are going to see uh, this top happening right over here whether this top can actually go right over here too definitely it can top it can push over here there is nothing stopping that it's not going to push uh, and we have an important support area coming in here so it can get definitely go to 1878 area a hundred dollar move in next three four days is going to be really good for for gold if that happens and i think that our that move will be final and then we're going to see a huge drop in gold uh, for a couple of months so this is what I wanted to uh, bring you guys uh, and let's see how, how, it, how the prices behave in gold and silver. If you guys want to see the full analysis or analysis of gold and silver, uh, you can go back to my weekly video. It was posted I think 2-3 days ago on the weekend. It, can, it was posted on weekend and, and uh, I think it is called uh, the future of gold and silver. So you can refer to the different um, miners. All these three miners were discussed, GDX was discussed, gold and silver discussed in that video as well. Let's have a quick look and silver see if you can identify any patterns. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. A, B, C, no, it doesn't look like A, B, C. The only problem here is that. Silver structure does not seem complete to me. I think that structure is still going on. This one right over here. Because we can consider it as wave one and two and three and four and five, and in that case, 
it's a very small period of time uh, does that mean it's going to come down right over here complete the time period or how it's going to behave we'll have to look for that and this is something we were expecting a pullback right over here we were expecting a pullback right over here could we count a five wave structure or we can consider it as a w can we consider it as a w and this whole structure as y and then x so five three five and x another y over here in that case i think that okay I think that structure that is started from over here is yet not complete. All right. So I th there is a possibility that we're going to move sideways quite a bit for for silver. If you're going to move sideways for silver, how is going to look for gold? We'll have to wait for that. Uh, I think gold has probably completed the pattern. I told you. Let's have a look, quick, quick look once again. Because we can actually see that this structure completed right over here, and this is the five wave structure. In this case, you can say we have 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and 5. So that would mean that we have a very small period of time. Alright, in that case, we can say that the structure completed over here. And this is the correction and we are moving upward, which makes sense with silver as well. In that case, we can see that the pullback has happened uh, for very small amount of time so the correction of the previous 5 wave structure happened for a very small amount of time is still a possibility because we're right now we can kind of see a double top has waved prices has pulled down right over here as long as prices do not fall below 1948 and similar goes for gold as long as we do not break uh, this important support area and then we are still bullish on gold and similar goes for similar thing goes for silver I think the rest of the week shall be bullish for gold and silver. This is similar thing that we are seeing in uh, forex pairs against uh, forex majors against US dollar. That includes Euro, Canadian dollar, British pound, and uh, New Zealand dollar as well. I've seen New Zealand dollar as well. So they're bullish against US dollar, and I think that gold and silver are going to be bullish as well against US dollar. So that that's gold and silver. Let's have a look at. Uh, I think the the rest is working fine. Let's have a look at stock. We can do a quick look on stock. Uh, Nasdaq 100. We are bullish on on Nasdaq 100. It's going good. Uh, it's going on its way to the target area. Let's have a look. If you guys have missed it, uh, our target for Nasdaq is 14,400 a year. I think there are probably two three days left still for that target area to be completed. We are still heading for that. Dow Jones is uh, once again bullish. We can see we have seen pretty nice movement for for Dow Jones as well. Let me see this auto. Okay, and our target zone for uh, Dow Jones is 35,500 ish right over here. We have a bit of price movement left and we can see that you're bullish on Dow Jones, Nasdaq and they have moved as we have analyzed for that. S&P has moved as well. And oh, once again, I need to I need to tell you guys if some of you new member comes in that once the target is met, uh, we were expecting for a higher degree drop. We we're expecting for two months of bearish movement downwards. So a larger move downward lasting about two months from the top is expected once we have reached the top. Uh, we can definitely draw a trend line. This horizontal support that's here. Uh, that is here we'll keep pushing it upward as soon as prices go upward for now it's still over here if you see a larger corrected pattern right over here too we'll push this support over higher and we're expecting for the prices to grow close that in that area and then we can draw the trend line from over here as soon as we see the confirmation of the trend line and the horizontal support we, we are we turn bearish this goes for nasdaq 100 dow jones s p and this goes for uh, nifty as well We'll look at uh, S&P 500 quickly and you can still see that the bullish price movement that you were talking about on the weekend has happened. It's quite a nice price movement and our target zero zone for uh, we are actually getting close to the target zone for S&P 500. So you got to keep sure 4,400, 4,395 is our area. There is a possibility that we can see some sort of correction and then move upward 
and then we'll start using the horizontal line and the support line and we're expecting for the price dropping downwards FTSE you are bullish on FTSE and it has moved in that way we can see the bullish price action on FTSE so target zone for FTSE is right over here this black line and uh, let me bring that so you can actually see it 7660 is our uh, target for FTSE and we're expecting for the prices to drop downwards after that for an extended extended period of time all right and we can definitely we can definitely bring this trend line over here we can clearly see now structure so la before the weekend we did not have this structure that we are seeing right over here before the weekend we did not have the structure it followed on Monday and Tuesday so we had the support right over here because of the clear structure that we have we can now bring it over here and if in case a truncation happens we this is uh, to bring to make sure that in case the the truncation happens we are aware of a truncation being happened so that fire a trigger signal is there for you guys to understand that we our uh, analysis will turn bearish as soon as we meet the meet the horizontal support break and the diagonal support break we are very close to the target and I think after that we are expe expecting a bearish outlook for FTSE for ex extended period of time nifty is uh, we were bullish on nifty over the weekend and that's exactly what we have seen so for nifty we can see that we are expecting for the prices to head around 18,118 ish area we still have a bit of price left and we can definitely use uh, this for now support area and as soon as prices move upward we see some correctional price behavior we know how to deal with that right so expecting for the prices to get closer than a, and a sharp downward uh, downward price movement in uh, nifty as well uh, DAX has moved uh, in an amazing way we have are expecting for DAX to be bullish and it has exactly done so so we're expecting for it to hit right now at 14,380 at least and then we can start expecting for it to go downwards all right this is the trend line for DAX uh, once we see, once we see the top happening we are expecting that this larger pattern would be complete right over here in this regard and then we would turn it on the bearish side crude oil although I was bullish on crude oil but the things have moved which is good news I mean not if you are trading uh, but I'm gonna wait for uh, crude oil to complete the pattern I was expecting that we will continue the behavior and right over here too so let's see what's happening we can still see if we let's say if we do not go in the top we still need to see a completion of this structure all right and it looks to me that that's not market is not interested in going that deep it means this structure is very shallow so for now I'll stay away from uh, doing any analysis on crude oil and I'll wait for crude oil to uh, generate some more data and then we can probably forecast crude oil gold and silver already discussed Bitcoin how is Bitcoin doing all right do you guys see a pattern we were discussing uh, a bullish price movement for cryptocurrency some of you guys who are interested in cryptocurrency I gave a target for Bitcoin to be around 30,000 and then we are heading in that direction and I'll tell you guys how after we have reached the target I've expected that we are gonna see uh, I think about maybe six weeks to eight weeks of bearish price movement in cryptocurrency so I'm expecting another extreme beyond uh, the one that we have already seen I'm expecting an, another extreme low uh, beyond what we have already seen let's have a look on the daily time frame so you guys can actually see what we are talking about so once we have reached that over here I'm expecting for the prices to drop in this region right over here which be 5,000 to 10,000 anywhere somewhere in the between we can definitely push tar downward and meet 4,000 which is right over here uh, from 5,000 to 10,000 is a valid uh, target area when it turns bearish for now we're still going on heading towards the bullish outlook for Bitcoin and Ethereum and the other rest of the cryptocurrencies let's have a look at daily time frame I mean hourly time frame to see actually uh, what different uh, things are we seeing so how you guys want to look at it whether the correction ended over here or over here is up to you I can clearly see that we have an impulsive move and a pullback all right and we are seeing this pullback around the top this is something I have discussed quite a bit on my channel 
<coughs> so if you see a pullback around the top, this is a structure coming around. This is uh, uh, basically buyers telling us that they are not interested or bears are telling us they are not interested in pushing the prices down. We already can see that support is coming and this smaller degree structure is happening right around the top right over here, uh, right around the top. This is the previous top that we have. All right, within this structure that actually started from over here, we have this top and this top and we can see that we have a, a correctional st structure around over here. So I think that we are good in our, on our analysis and we are thinking about bullish and expecting this uh, behavior from Bitcoin target is $30,000. Ethereum is a kind of uh, a similar structure, I'll give me a moment, it's a pullback, it's, it is showing a pullback, not as beautiful as we have seen on uh, Bitcoin, but it's clearly showing a pullback right over here. Let's have a look, first of all we had extreme over here and we saw a new extreme right over here. So we can see right now that the prices have gone beyond the extreme right over here and we can see from this extreme like prices went beyond and created a correction. So now we have this extreme right over here. Prices went um, and then created a structure. So pull back right over here. So I'm still bull bullish on uh, Ethereum. Our target for Ethereum I think is around 2600 or 2500. Let's have a look what's happening. 2400 that's our target here right over here this angle while I was working with the um, WD GAN works uh, I realized that this angle and intersection point is very important and hence the 2398 target for Ethereum. I hope that you like you guys like the content wish you good luck with your uh, trading have a good one and bye bye please do understand that what I'm telling you guys over here cannot be considered as financial advice um, I love trading I do some uh, analysis and provide it as a basis of entertainment or as an educational purpose so that you guys more and more can get motivated, understand that what tactical analysis and try to implement and learn more and more uh, from these videos. Wish you good luck, have a good one and bye bye.